all right so hey y'all um uh, doing something a little different i'm actually driving <gasps> yes i'm driving um and i was just driving and i was thinking about some stuff you know this tr long big ass train came and had me thinking about stuff so i was like look let me go ahead and just record so yes i'm using my phone it's kind of shaky whatever get over it so anyway oops <laughs> i just beeped at this person for no reason okay so anyway um let me make this quick but i was thinking and i was like i just thought i should share it with other people who are probably going through what i'm going through i don't know i'm not really going through this i don't know i don't like putting my business out there so it's kind of hard for me to talk about this but if if my life meant anything i would i know my life means a lot but i want to be able to help other people you know that's what we're here for we're not here for ourselves god put us on a mission and we're here to help everybody so long story short i'm going to get to the point like i said it's a little difficult for me to talk about this because it is kind of personal but um you might people that are into social media like me um i do not follow the kardashians i don't have time i can barely keep up with myself but you might be on instagram you might follow a lot of celebrities and a lot of people that look like what everybody wants to look like with the big boobs the small waist the big ass the fat ass the pumped lips the perfect eyebrows but don't get caught up into all that and i had to catch myself because i was about to get caught up into all that so you know god has blessed me in too many ways and sometimes i forget that i am blessed not just physically emotionally but just in all aspects of a variety of things i am blessed yes and we all fall short of realizing that we are blessed and what i mean by that is god has blessed me to well look at my mom my mom has a big ass so i know my ass will come when i'm only 19 so you know whatever cool but i do have a nice ass for my age and i thank god for that i did put that what well, i in the bible so anyway anyway long story short what I'm trying to say is don't get caught up into that. Don't feel like in order to get a man or to get somebody's attention, you have to look a certain way because as soon as you try to look a certain way and you actually get their attention, you got to keep that up. And let's be honest, that's a lot of work. <laughs> let's just be honest, it is a lot of work. And I'm not into booty injections and plumping. If you try to stay with all this, I swear to y'all, y'all think celebrities are living a, fast, living a great life, but... They have to stay up with all this. They have to make sure their lips are on point, their ass is on point, their titties are on point, their stomach is on point. If they wake up and they have a shoot and they don't look a certain way, they have to fix that. I don't want to be like that, y'all. Like, if God blessed me to be famous one day, I would be so grateful, but I'm going to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. In today's world, that's just how it is. But I'm just saying, don't get caught up into all that. You might see a girl and be like, oh my gosh she is the perfect color which is for some reason a yellow bone chick i'm a caramel chocolate girl let's just keep it real i'm chocolate but you might see a girl she's yellow she has beautiful long curly hair or whatever um beautiful pink lips beautiful eyelashes they're hers this time um perfect figure but she might have the worst attitude she might be dumb as shit. i'm cursing i'm sorry y'all she might be really dumb she might have big ass feet like let's keep it real you don't know what people are actually like so don't just sit here and judge them and be like dang i want to be just like them because you really don't like for example my daughter um she is very pretty she's a yellow she's brighter than me uh she's not a hot yellow but she's like a the kind of a nice shade of yellow she has really gorgeous curly hair um she's so beautiful she has naturally beautiful eyelashes like you might think my daughter has on the 22 i post a picture of my daughter but you might think she has on 22 eyelashes and she really doesn't um she's just cute like the cutest thing but my baby got some big ass feet y'all like them feet came straight from her dad because them 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 things big but that's that's just an example like and i will always teach my daughter to love herself yeah you might have big feet so use them to the best of your advantage you might be a great athlete one day athletes do run in our family so what i'm saying is when you have an imperfection or a flaw make it embrace it don't sit here and try to hide it or try to correct it 
and I mean, yeah, we're gonna try to correct it. Like I'm taking bust, miracle bust, okay? But that's just me. But I'm not about to sit here and fix every single one of my perfections. I'm just not going to do that because it gets overwhelming. You try to fix one problem area and then, I'm sorry, I'm trying to turn it into my driveway. But um, you try to fix one problem area and then boom, here's another one. And it's just too much, y'all. Because I was honestly, what I honestly why I'm telling y'all this is because I was on Instagram and I'm like, I had a baby, yeah, four years ago. Cool, I'm young. So, and I'm, I was an athlete, so I do bounce back into my regular body. And I, I don't normally post body pictures, but I post a picture of my body up here somewhere. But I have a nice ass, I'm thick. I'm like the, the right thick. I'm not too much like booty galore, but I have a nice shape, you know? And I'm blessed, thank God. I have small boobs, but they're not like flat chest. I'm not flat chested, you know? Um. I'm I'm a nice shade. I mean, every shade is great to me. I like chocolate men. I oh, don't get me started on Jamaicans, but and um I like light skinned people too, like light skinned guys too. But for some reason, like my shade or a little darker than me attracts me. Well, I don't know, but I'm I'm not gonna go after just a certain shade. Trust me, it has a lot to do with a lot of different things, and for me to come to you. But anyway, it's not about that right now. But I said all this to say that um. I was, I've been on Instagram too much, just to say that I've been on Instagram too much and I had to come back to reality and be like, I'm a blessing, I'm a nice catch, like, fuck a, a nice catch, like, I'm wifey material and I have to, another thing, ladies, we cannot drop our standards, like, I almost dropped my standards, y'all, I was like, what the hell, <laughs> like, <laughs> really, but let's just keep it real, so, um, this video's not gonna be that long because I am home, but I was kind of like, I wanted to talk about it because, like, I had to because I was I was like I'm pretty sure there are other girls out there going through the same thing because I have friends who go through the same thing as me too but don't get caught up into all that yes Amber Rose is gorgeous but you, I mean come on now she has flaws as well you probably don't see them but because you I don't know I'm not gonna talk down about her she is a beautiful human being and she, to me she's real like a real person like when I see her talk and stuff like she doesn't she's down to earth so that's not the only example everybody want to wake up flawless like beyonce let's just be real we don't wake up flawless if you wake up flawless because you slept in a single position and you you make sure your eyelashes did not crumble when you laid on that side you stay just like this and you know no that's no y'all don't get caught up into all that be yourself because nobody can do you better than you can and if you're ever feeling down, just think about what all you're grateful for. Because I was feeling a little down, and then I kind of felt like dressing up today just a little bit, you know, throw a little shades on because I don't have on lashes right now. But anyway, that's another thing, y'all. Uh, my sister got me into wearing lashes. Like, for prom, I wore lashes, and then ever since then, like, I, I thought I was just a baddie. So I kept wearing lashes, and my natural eyelashes, I always got compliments on them growing up, and even, well, not now because they're gone, but they're like really thick long and curly so everybody love my eyelashes i wouldn't wear any makeup and people be like oh you have on lashes or you have a mascara and i'd be like no like i used to hate my eyelashes because they would fall in my eye and i had my, my brother would tell me to stop saying that stop saying that you hate your eyelashes because they're a gift you just gotta learn how to work with them and now that you know my ran too many lashes the wrong way kind of pulled them off they're growing back thank god but you gotta be grateful, y'all, because once it's gone, you're gonna be like, dang. Like if you were to if you have an ass and you were to ever lose it, you're gonna be like, dang, I should have, you know, embraced my booty. <laughs> so that's it, y'all. I feel a lot better. But if this video helps you out, leave a comment. If you know, if you just agree with what I'm saying, leave a comment. I don't know. But girls need to learn how to stick together. That's another thing. I'm sorry, y'all. I hate it. Like I walked into the beauty no i went to the nail shop the other day a couple days ago to get my um my lashes done i'm addicted get my lashes done and everybody was just kind of I, I don't live in the hood i live in a nice area just look like white people no 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 i'm gonna say that they're a nice home but like a lot of black people and it's lot it's very diverse like that and then a nail shop is like not far from me but it's kind of ghetto just a little bit 
but you know me and the owner like i've been going there for a long time and we support them so real real cool when i come in she acknowledges me she's like hey sam hey girl what you need blah 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 cool i walk in and all these ugly bitches i'm sorry i'm stop cursing all these weird looking people women were looking at me like who she think she is like i didn't even know i, I am nice like, i walked in and i'm like smiling hey they be trying to take my joy but it's okay because i was cute so I sat down by these, these girls were so pretty. They were like Latino uh, and mixed. I think they had some pretty curly hair like this almost. And they were like, your hair is pretty. I was like, thank y'all. I'm trying to look like y'all, you know? So we were just talking or whatever. But that's just to say, well, I'm, I said that story to say, why when every time you see a, a bad girl or something on her body looks good to you, like her glasses, her hair, her makeup, instead of looking at her like you don't have to do all that, tell her she look pretty. Like, it's nothing wrong with that. I t if you walk by me and you smell hella good, I'm going to tell you, you smell hella good. What is that? Like, you know, I tell girls that all the time. And it's funny because, like, a girl will look like she's me mugging you or something. And if you give her a compliment, it's like you just broke open this, you blossomed this flower. Like, I don't know where this joy and this happiness and this nice person comes out. And, like, she'll be like, she'll walk, she'll walk by you. Let's say she smells good, right? She'll walk by me with this mug and I'll be like, excuse me i'm sorry this is a little weird but it's just me you smell really good and she'll be like oh my gosh girl thank you you know it's this this and then she'll give me a compliment oh i like your hair or i like your glasses and then we start talking and we exchange instagrams and then we go from there but you know what i'm saying why can't it be that easy why why do you always have to she mug it so i can give her no compliment no you don't give a compliment to receive you don't give to receive y'all that's your other problem you don't want to give nothing because you know you're not gonna receive nothing no your blessing do not come from people it comes from god i'm preaching but still <laughs> don't get me started y'all y'all got me hyped up i'm just a little overworked today because i gotta go paper to go right in the house but for, for school but y'all i hope i blessed somebody's day i hope i helped somebody that was down because i was a little down and i had to re re get all this together like sam you you fine girl you better you better huh you better you know <laughs> and another reason why i i, I had to rethink about it because my brother was like i went through a situation with this guy i knew we could never kind of be together because of his he's he's trying to get famous just put it like that and well, he's trying to get bigger than what he is. And the way his lifestyle is, I know we can never be together. But I didn't see what everybody else saw. I didn't see his celebrity status. I saw him himself inside. And he grew on me. And I liked him. And long story short, we kind of fell off. Big time. And it's nothing we didn't, it's not, not because of something I did. It's just because of his lifestyle and he's in the fast lane right now so and i'm not the type of girl like i'll ride with you as long as i see that you you want me to be there with you you're gonna treat me right if you're not gonna treat me right i'm gone i've been through too many stretches like a time so like i said he was living in the fast lane and i i just i want to i want to know that i want it too so long story short i stopped talking to him and it's been a couple of weeks and you know my brother my brother knows me well he was like sam you gotta get over that and he was like let's just be honest he missed out on a good blessing and i was like boy you right why am i tripping like we, you know what i'm saying you did he missed out on a good blessing and i don't know how long this i'm gonna be waiting i'm not waiting i don't know how long i'll be single because you know i am a good catch but um long story short never settle for less you know your worth and make sure over time your worth should its value should increase your value should never decrease so i'm gonna let y'all go on that note and just be you be you that's all i can really say be you and love yourself because if you don't love yourself nobody really can if you're not good within yourself nobody can do that for you nobody can love you like you can love yourself and i love me some sam so bye guys have a great day